years out of it and never got to add wheat for dairy. Because I was going to roll it onto the forks. Wouldn't surprise me. Or be a first time. Crunch. Oh. Hey guys, and how's it going? Maniac Mower here. We got another toy. For those of you who don't know, huh? That somebody just brought? Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Master Mechanic Mike, he's a fellow YouTuber on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen this tractor on his channel yet, but he showed it off. He was talking about it. It sat for a couple years. It was claimed to be running. My suspicion, at some point, somebody put a uh, different key switch on it, and I've almost wondered if the reason the original owner who put the key switch on there sold it was because uh, he lost the key to it and thought, well, if I sell it to somebody else, maybe they can get a key made for it. But they wanted it, designed it to be a pulling tractor. As you can see, there's weight brackets underneath and there's wheelie also, bars. yeah, wheelie bars and a thing for weights. On the front too. Yeah, there is. It's got a trailer hitch. I thought that was really cool. So it's supposed to be a weight bracket, but it is perfect size for a trailer hitch. Yeah. So, nice little toy. John finally got his eight horse puller. Yep, one thing I have been waiting for now for a while is one of these eight horse cullers. Its next stop will be on the round fender and hopefully that's its next permanent home. We're gonna try a different filming angle. I know you guys have seen it before, but I got a little hole in my floor. We're gonna try and film from up there. That way, somebody don't get in the way of the camera. <laughs> so, 
There will be no subtitles in this video saying we can't see that. <laughs> I never put any of them in my video. So let's go on ahead and we will get started on this little guy, getting him pulled apart and all set.
dollar could have given to me. There was? Huh. Shouldn't have been. Oh, that's all sitting right here. I left. I guess I must have left them in it. I don't know if you left it in there for me to use or if you accidentally left it in there. I must have accidentally left them in there. So I just set it on the barrel, used the cleaner, put it back in when I was through. So, let's see how bad this thing is. I'm betting that gasket's not going to look. Oh, look how clean that is. That gasket's more than likely going to need to be. Attended to. On now. John, grab the carburetor on one hand, set the wrench down. What? Pick it up. Yeah. Hold it tight. Grab the fuel bowl and twist. I don't want to ruin that gasket. John, the gasket's junk, I'm telling you. Dang, it still won't move. No. After being beat on, it's pissing all over. All the old gas. Yeah, <laughs> smell was <laughs> awful. Imagine that. This guys is not how you or this is how you absolutely don't get a carburetor apart. Well it won't come off if you can if you twist it. I heard something move, turn it the other way, and pull too. That was this. Mm. Yeah, I heard it too. Holy hell. Where'd the other bolt go? Mounting bolt. Find it later. Hmm. Probably. Okay. This camera's laggy. It's not. Be well. Yes, this gasket's junk, John. Alright. If you piss on me, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> there it is. I'm almost tempted to just put it in there like that for a little while and see if... <laughs> Might have to. Even this little groove you're supposed to stick the screwdriver in to pry that off won't let it come off. Alright, yeah. Let's try that, I guess. We'll yeah. just put it in there for a little bit and then we'll try pulling it apart again. Use some old mixture in there. Old or mixture? You're going to have to, well it looks fairly dirty, you're going to have to run that through three or four times, get it yeah. apart, run it through a couple more, and then change the mixture to actually clean it. Alright, that's brand new right there. This? Yeah. Why isn't it blue? I used a different soap because I didn't have any of the on. that run for a little while and then we'll come back. I get this off of here. We keep on spinning inside of these. That one down. Exactly. Take the grinder and put 
march to it, see the big old flathead. Yeah. We've had to do that before. That's what I was thinking too. That might be our only option. We need to make sure there's no shit. We can pull the cover off, can't we? See. I figured you would do that. Shut up. Yeah, that's not very old at all. Take it over to the bench. Holy shit. Oh, I told you there was a bunch of crap in there. You filmed that, right? Yeah, I think. Oh, it probably didn't get it. That all came out of that cover. That's got good compression. It's blowing shit at the exhaust. Oh, I'm gonna grab that. That's funny. It ain't good. Yeah, that's how wide that gear is. Yeah, I know. Only a little bit of it. Alright, take her over the bench. Now what, your majesty? I know it's going to get dusty.
Let's see if this guy will come apart now. What? Well, too bad. Give that a second to cool off. Let that cool down for a little bit. Let's see. If that will come on, it or not. Hmm. Some of the paint. That is still not coming off. It is stuck. Let's see. I don't even think that middle that main jet comes out of there. Throttle freed up. Choke still kind of stiff. Hmm. That's going to be a place. I think we're going to try and reuse this gasket. I'm just going to leave this on here. They really don't need to come off. For any reason I can think of. There it goes. I got it off. Whoa! I didn't know that was milk. I didn't know you were supposed to have milk in a carburetor. Wow. That's a mess. It's off a little. You couldn't see the milk. Tip it. Drink it, John. No balls. No. Smell it. See what it smells like. What is it? You I dumb shit. Main jet don't come out of there, does it? Probably not. Don't I don't. Like it does. I never take them out anyway. Usually. Mm. Well, I do. I had one over there to get a pair of pliers. Try these. There we go. Okay. I think I'm just going to leave the gasket on there because I don't think that's going to come out. 
and seeing how much of a pain it was, I don't know if I have, well, I don't know if I have another gasket or not. I think I'll leave it in there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That one might need some attention. Let's try it. Where did I put that part? Ready? We'll let that go for an hour. Okay, let's get this carburetor out of here. Top! Spot. You need like a clean paper towel, Bubba. No, I don't. Get yourself a bubble always, wrap or something. I always leave it dirty. Just put it on there, it's fine. Your float's floating, see? You want to show the camera? Yeah, I see it. Oh, in the camera? Okay. It's a little bit warm. No, really? Then I'll blow it out with the air compressor. What the? Is that the gasket? No, that's all the crap that was on the bottom of it. Oh. I thought that was a gasket. So I noticed somebody painted that float bowl. I was pulling paint off of it earlier when I first pulled it out. The float cleaned up real nice. Look at it that. It did. You At least, is that the float I pulled out of that? I think it is. Yeah, there's a float that's in here. Hmm. I think that jet needs a new spring. They really don't need the springs. They hold them in place. Because I've had them move around before. What's that? Oh, the jet needle. The needle's in pretty good shape. Yeah. Cleaned up pretty nice. Yeah. Run that in the wire wheel. Alright. Put that ultrasonic off. Nope, wrong button. There's a left switch. Yep. Now we still got some shit on the bottom of this bowl, but that'll come out as soon as I find. See, now I'd have blown it out with the air compressor first before I did anything with it, but. That's just my opinion how I do things. Where the hell do I keep getting grease on myself? Mm -hmm. John! What the fuck? What? There's grease everywhere out here, I don't know. Okay, guys, this is Dandy. What the f say? What the f is my name? Master. Master. This is Master Mechanic Mike. Holy shit. Still helping John unfuck things up. Oh, that's warm. No, really? Yeah! Never to thunk it, huh? <laughs> Man, this shit is good. What the hell is this soap? Um, dish soap. Dang, that's some good smell. Some kind of other dish soap. Candy John, soap. you're not going to believe it. Come here. Oh, This boy. stupid glass crap. We are currently putting the carburetor on. Correction, I am. I'm trying to put this, uh... John's doing something with the sediment now. Yeah, I'm putting...
Okay, so we're gonna go on ahead and try and see if we can get this thing going. We've got it most of the way there. The coil, the carburetor is back on it. We've got the coil hooked up. First thing I wanna do is check for spark before we try. Well, still, we still need to find somewhere to put that. Yeah. We need like, we can electrical tape it. That's a way to electrical tape it. Let me have a chair. I'm gonna set this on that armrest. You're gonna hold that yourself. Okay, ready? No. Camera's filming, right? Uh, hang on. Yes, the camera is. Filming. Okay, when I tell you to, I need you to do the plug. Is this hooked up correctly on the tractor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, everything is hooked up. Don't do it yet when I tell you to. Oh, uh, that's going to come off. This? Yeah. Speaking of, Look it up. I want to hook this up and check for spark. Before we go any further with it. I can't see it. I don't know if you can or not. No fuel is going to be coming out of it, so I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> Ready? Nope. Cracker. Does everything have to weigh the flywheel? The plug you're going to come undone. Yeah. Down. It's yep. got spark. It's got spark. Yeah, baby. Yeah, okay. bitch. All right, let's get some petrol in the cylinder. Two Grab that two shirt can. I grabbed it. Give you me want it. it? <laughs> yes. Silly squatch. Okay. Got to find. I cannot believe that had spark. I can. I didn't think that coil was any good. Okay, so after I'm done dumping it everywhere. Should have grabbed your funnel. Yes, yes, you should have. We have it idle, right? Hopefully. Don't forget to play with the choke. I already tanked oh. that stupid squatch. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll choke it for now. You're gonna get to play with that. Ready? Nope. Let me know. Would you like to do it? Oh, you have to hold that thing, don't you? Yeah. Do it. John! What? It's touching the frame. Oh, you're just going to let it hang? Do you yeah. want to come do this? Oh, it's yeah. It's going to hold this. Do it. Ready? Yeah. Yeah! Sounds <laughs> happy. Unhook at. Okay. Let's hook it up correctly in a track. Well, do you do you want to start it again like this or hook it I up? I like doing it, it this way. I want to make sure it runs. I do want to idle it down. It was just a little, little bit. Yeah, this over here would be idle. You need a flat screwdriver to unscrew that. Because it it did seem like it was running a little bit high. I was trying. Where's the flat screwdrivers? Should be over there. Screw that thing all the way out so it can come. Okay. That's as much as it wants That's to go in now. Yeah. There we go.
Whatever boat you boat, John. Ready? Before we start it, choke it <clears throat> and give it a little bit of throttle. <coughs> when it starts, unchoke it. Okay? Right. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Why did that just stop? It stopped before I unplugged it. Oh, the fuse in there must have went. The fuse in where? Oh, that? Yeah, it overloaded. It'll see it just clicked. Oh, is that it? Yep. Going back to where it needs to be. Overload. Yeah. Just had a little too much voltage. That's on. That's normal. That's your spark plug wrench for this girl. I was not expecting That's, that. Oh, you're supposed to hold on to the engine, damn shit. I was not expecting that. No, an engine that's not bolted down move? Really? Damn shit. I thought it was. It was making a lot less noise though when I put the exhaust on it. Yeah, I know. I was watching it, waiting to, making sure it was sparking when it was not trying to start. I must have burned all the gas out and... John, you have the engine completely freaking turned. Whatever. I'm still wondering if that fuel pump even works. Me too. Okay. This, these are the cords I need. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. You are? Yep. Yes. Unhook that. Unhook both cables. Put them on the floor. Hmm. Turn off that fitting. Hmm. Hmm. So, you gravity feed it, it'll start. Yeah. Hang on, I got an idea. Sure. Where is a half inch wrench? What do you think? Pop that off there and see if it's even. Yeah, see if it's pumping. Give me a half inch wrench. Or where's a trick wrench? Here. Where's the other Because this is adjusted for this. Which you didn't tighten down? I did. Where is the other one? Oh, I'll use this one. Where do you have to it? Hold the engine still, sir. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put one of these in the ultrasonic or not. What? One of these uh, pumps. Do you care? It don't matter to me. Yeah. As long as it'll still run. Kind of surprised me that I almost wonder if we ought to pull it apart. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then put it in the container. Without having this battery hooked up. Yeah. I'd make the print. Okay. Let's see if it turn on my up fuel. All right. Are you ready? Yep. I would dare say it doesn't work. Yeah. Turn it off. It's going to squirt. Hmm. Hold it up here. Take a different carburetor and take the thing off so we can put gravity fed on it. Where's the jump? I know there's one around. 
assuming you're ready to start it again, grab the red one, hook it up, and let's roll. Yeah, it's working just up there. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. More throttle dump up. Starts on choke it. Ready? Next time it starts, give it a little more throttle. If it starts to die, put it back to where it was. Carburetor adjusted, possibly needs to be adjusted. Probably. Turn off your shutoff valve. Do you have the internet out here? No. That's on hook. That's on hook. Okay, everybody. So we figured out what the deal was with it. The problem with why it was not firing over well was because we had... Because the, ours is a K181. Yeah. And the way we had it set up was we had it set up for a K301... Uh, the, uh, 241 and... 321. Give it a little bit of throttle. All right. That is on with that gas line, right? Yeah. Is there still gas in the tank? Yeah. Did it lose spark? I'm gonna turn this one out. Quarter of a turn. Quarter of a turn. All right, let's try that. Ready? Yeah. Contact. Go in the hole. Where's spark? Huh? Spark still. It has to be losing connection right somewhere. Make sure that has good connection. Yeah, it does. Right? Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Try this again. Connection? Yay, nay. No, well, try again. Was it sparking? A little bit. Unhook the pair up. 
You can let go of that string. Mm. Yeah. Are you well, maybe. Are you sure? Because it kind of tried to start. I don't see Give it a tad. I'll do it. <clears throat> Might have been a little too much. We'll try it. Get ready with the choke. Put choke on. Yep. Keep your finger on it. When it fires, turn choke off. Yep. Don't choke it. Why is it doing this to us? I have no idea. Contact! Okay, we swapped the points around. Let's see if we can go on ahead and get and this. And made a new ignition system instead of a set of jumper cables. I like my jumper cables. Are you ready, Swinny Swatch? Yep.
while it's running, try to throttle it up. Dang it, that one's gonna unchoke it. It's probably got plenty of fuel. Don't put it in an exact idle. Idle up a little. going. That up. governor is not pushing. I think that might need work. Or it might be. I just don't notice it. I don't know. Okay, so a little bit of an update for you guys. As you guys remember, we had the fuel pump unhooked. We ended up hooking the fuel pump back up. After oh. we ran it through the ultrasonic and cleaned it and got it running. Now it's all put back together and we are going to try to start it because it works. So, are you ready Sasquatch? Yep. Ready for contact? Yep. We have contact. Do we have liftoff yet? Uh, Golf is coming soon. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's crank. You could have told me. Stupid slots. You ready? Yeah. Don't just put the choke up and down. Remember what happened last time? It's probably going to take a while for it to get all yeah, that. Throttle more than zero. There you go. That was a pretty good. I'm gonna loosen. We want it to be able to go down to the power. You ready to rock? Good, let's go. Don't just push the jump up now. sit here and run for a while. I'll bring you guys back later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have decided that the head gasket is blown because it is bubbling oil out of it. Yep. So, we are going to proceed to pull the head off. Ooh, is that half they an inch? should be half inch. We could probably buzz them off with the impact. You don't seven. need an extension. That's a seven. This seven fifteen isn't gonna fit, see? No, really? There's a half inch. They might be half or nine. I think they're half. Actually, I think they're nine. Yeah, they're half. They're nine. half? Nine. I was gonna say. They look too big to be half to me. Yeah. Where's your nine? Done, Bob. Actually, wait a minute. That nine might not have been. Oh, that's a half inch right there. Yep, that's nine. Oh well. What was the one I just had? That must have been a seven. You probably had the seven sixteenths again, you stupid idiotic knucklehead. <laughs> this is not the correct way to take a head off, by the way. Well, then what's the correct way? With a wrench or a socket. 
not an impact. This is a socket. Well, you're at Maniac School. You're yes. learning. Maniac is for sure. You're learning. I need a persuasion stick. That thing's a little warm still. Oh, never mind. I don't need a persuasion Thank stick. Ouch. Yep. It's got some heat to the old girl. Huh. Head gasket? Who needs a head gasket? Where is the head gasket? Is it under Not there? Not on there. <laughs> there is this no. damn thing ain't got one. Yeah. Look how clean that valve is. Except yeah. for all the rust. Okay, turn this engine until they're both closed. And the piston's all the way up. Right there. That is a small little piston. Now, Perfect we need to clean this up pretty good. Here's the 12 horse. This is a 10 horse. They're close. That looks like a 12. That looks like a 10. That is a 10. This is a 12. Oh, no, no wonder my leg was getting so warm. It's against the uh, head. Who wants to see the bottom of the head? I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I've seen it. Doesn't look so hot. What's it look like? Okay, you guys, I'm going to go on ahead and end this video here. I'm going to leave it a cliffhanger for all of you. We got to see the tractor run. We got to see the, the carburetor get cleaned and everything else done Fuel to pump. it. Fuel pump. We ended up, unfortunately, pulling the head gasket off of it. So, part two is going to be us replacing the head gasket and getting this tractor into its permanent home. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Okay, let's go on in and we'll get this color this to come so pulled out of here.
Dot getting out of here.